Our expert extraordinaire is sometimes a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I've got some of your new board members. Oh, good. Very dynamic group. <laughs> yeah. So, Gwen. Gwen. Um, I can play her book. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. And, and Lori Randall. Lori. Yes. So, yeah, these are all. And these are all my people. I, it's a it's a new era of energy. <laughs> Those are powerhouses. <laughs> powerhouses, yes. <laughs> it's energy yeah. 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 Yes. Great. Okay. So I uh, I just want to acknowledge Daryl and Adriana. I uh, council member Bell is going to be calling in. I don't know if she meant to call or she. Um, but we need one more. Oh, no, we can. Okay, we can. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start the meeting, and I'm sure people will trickle in. Um, hey, hi, everybody. Good to see you all. Um, and I now call the meeting to order. We'll approve the May minutes. I have a motion to approve minutes. All right. I think it. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'm going to finish those minutes. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I, I'm just, I, since not everyone's here, I'm looking at what I'm scanning down to what I could forward. Uh, down to um, well, um, let's start with the signal boxes. So it's very exciting. I don't know if any of you had a chance to see, but our student artist Samuel Reed is making the future signal box one up. And Lonnie took a picture, and I got a picture here to show you. <laughs> Thanks to Lonnie through my car window. I'm like, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So I talked to the communications team and I asked them to interview him, do a post. So and every time that a signal box goes up to do a social media post, because that just hasn't happened yet. And you know, the community loves it so much. Um, it's just a great thing to put out there. So that should be happening soon. Um, and the rest are waiting either to be done or for approval. We have one that we can look at next by uh, Juan, thank you, Juan. And uh, it's the dancer that we chose. And he did the dancer both on the big box and the little box. I think there was some misunderstanding that he could do something different on the smaller box. Uh, it's not to say that it doesn't work, but let's take a look at it. First of all, I want to thank Daryl and Sylvie because they, well, they offered their time to help these artists digitize their work. And it took hours and hours and hours. So thank you both for making it happen. And then do you have the answer picture that's on there? It's, it should be in the file.
Is it? It there should be steps. right in the file. Is that the file? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's a photo. There it is. Great. Good job. I'm so, much, I'm so glad you turned that on. Very good job. So, as you can see, it's a mirror image. Um, and so we need to discuss if we want to accept that or if we want him to do something different. So is that already created? It, it's, just, for the, it's just ready to go. It, so it wants to be saying, like, yes, it'll be grabbed. Or what we can do is say, yes, we're at the big box. And we want to revisit this one. Yeah, like the big box. I'd like to close up with the answer, but that's a lot of the same. So yeah, I think there was just a bit of a language barrier and a misunderstanding. He didn't he thought that we voted on that one piece and that's all he could do. Yeah. Um from what I understand. So what we could do is wrap, okay, we have choices. We can do it as it is. If you go, that is what you want to do, or we can just wrap the big box and then he could take his time and figure out what to do with the smaller box. They don't have to be wrapped at the same time. So what's the, what's the big box and that, um, right? Right. So it's kind of like where I headed. Yeah. Um, I can't tell what that is. That's a good point. I get that black, that black line. Yeah. Yeah. All, all yeah. Is in all hours and then perfect. And then what they can do is just lower it down. It looks like either they're going to have to cut off the feet or cut off the head. I think it does fairly speaking with the most kind of enjoy it. Are you are you willing to put more time into it and teach you something else? Yes, for sure. If that's what if that's what the artist wants, uh, for sure. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, I would like to hear from everyone in the room their comment on them. I agree. I really like it for the big box, but maybe something else for the yeah. I'd like to see the little box on different. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the, the, the problem with the small box because I went to his house to photograph the big painting that he had. He doesn't really have anything that's along the same lines. It's totally different stuff. And it's like uh, portraits of people and it's gonna be unless he creates some new art, which you could ask him to do that, it's gonna be so like, like night and day. You know how it was yeah. growing on the other box? Yeah. So it's just I think the artist designed something for the smaller box that matches and or is a continuation of the bigger box. Yeah. Um and it can be I mean, it could, he totally did not understand that. And I even in just going out with that photograph, whatever. So it sounds like you need to um, Hi, Paige. We're just weighing in on the dancer. Um, so let's see, Adriana, did I hear from you on this? Yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement with everybody else. And yeah, I'm sure if you ask the artist, I'm sure he'd be able to come up with something 
to add to that? I really like the colors. So it, it would be to do some sort of another figure. Or... Yeah, I would like to do the same colors in the background. That, that would be great. Or even if the little box was like the that little strip of the red, <laughs> that red color pattern, just tie it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think something that plays off the logic of this issue. Yeah, I was going to just say, unless it's some sort of intentional uh, re repetition for a reason, you know, yeah, more, more art is more better. Uh, hopefully there'll be something else that um, that that they'll want to do. Did we already print this? No, we're voting on it. We said at the last meeting that the commission wanted to see every proof before we printed it, so we're voting. Yeah. Okay. I vote new piece. Yeah. Go ahead, and for the smaller box, I said, well, you can do something like her face and repeat her face a bunch of faces on one or her feet or her arms would give something that was like but you know, I didn't know we just kind of okay so I'm hearing everyone will stick with the big box um we'll have them redesign the smaller box we need to ask if the head is cut off if if it has to be raised or lowered do we just want to cut off the feet? I mean, we're going to have to cut something off. Obviously, she doesn't fit or scale her feet or scale her to the bed. But I would assume we'd cut the feet off. Seems so terrible to do that with the dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We just need to see it. We don't want to cut anything. No, don't cut anything. All the body parts. <laughs> All right. So I have some follow up on that. All right. That was very productive. Before we move on, does anyone have anything else to add? Well, is it okay to, if he puts in a quote? Like, if he has a background and then he puts in a quote, you know about dancing and movement. I think we should just. I think we let the artist do their work. Yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. think we want to suggest. I think we like it. Okay. All right. So we will move on um, to the very exciting mural art review. Where's our mural art? Is that the one at the end of that? Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. Um, I'm just going to do a little debrief of the last meeting, which was um, that we're, just, we're picking a uh, mural artist for the bathrooms at Park Solano Park. And um, unfortunately, Nikki, it's the very last slide. Um, but do you, I would just like everyone's eyes on it because we'll just quickly go to the end and uh, and so we'll, just so you can get your eyes on that, everyone understands what we're wrapping. And then, um, so we reviewed the artists and then what happened was um, there were comments that the artists that we saw weren't offering anything fresh and new and different. And they wanted to see something else. Thank you, thank you, good um, And so this one. So that's the front, or the, yeah, one of the sides. And then this is another, the side. This side is facing the street. So that's the side that we would do. We decided in the last meeting, we'd do the side facing the street, which is that side. Um, but some of that, I guess we could take a part and see what so the so one facing the street gets the most. So any anyone who comes through the street, but we can see the other side. I'll I'll make a note of that. So um, 
So that the, the side that faces the playground is all the back of the middle. Yes, yeah, that's on the, it's all the, the water topics. Okay. All right. Um, so, so yeah, so my intern from the University of Houston staff put this together. And again, the emphasis was people weren't ready, people on the commission were not ready to vote um, because they kind of wanted to see more if there was something fresh and new out there. Um, and so the idea is that we're going to look at these artists and you each have a scoring sheet. And for those of you on Zoom, I emailed them out. I think. Did I trust them? Uh, did those of you on Zoom get the scoring sheet? I emailed it. Essentially, it has all the artists' names and then the names of their work. Adriana, did you get it? I don't believe I have that, Sally. I'm sorry if, if you did send it. Okay, you know what? Um, it's really basic. So let's just for the interest of time, um, as you go through, I suggest you have a notepad and just write the artist's name down. And then um, essentially what we want to do is pick three, two or three top artists. Um, one being the scoring the highest. So, you know, one, two, three, and maybe you want to do one, two, three, four, five. Um, and just take notes, write their name down and take notes, maybe the pieces that you like. And again, we're looking at style, um, mostly just the style of the art. Uh, because we're not going to tell the artist what to do. We're going to let them use their creativity to create this art. So really look at their overall style. And when we were talking about signal box artists, we were talking about people from Lakewood. There was one artist that everyone did like from Lakewood. There are no other artists from Lakewood, just so you know. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just start and we'll go through one by one. This is Angelina Villa Lobos and Sylvie uh, recommended her. Um, so she's um, a Latino artist. And this is, you know, so uh, you can go ahead. So Ben, the intern, just labeled some of these that he didn't know what to name. So you can just use those names, but I put them on your sheet. And um, you can just kind of, you know, take notes to help you reference what you like or didn't like about their art or colors or anything that will help us in the final dialogue today. Okay, next. This is called Climate Change Dragon. Pretty complex piece. This is coffee first. Facebook open arts block 16. Um, I would say this artist has the most extensive collection of murals. Fish kites. Let me hear. And well, and then just speak up if we're going too slow or too fast, and we'll wait, we'll circle back again as well. Thank you. Uh, Neon Moon. And you can see this is similar. It's got the big bricks. Um, so that material is something that she's used to working on. Orca vibes. Okay. Or you can scroll up. Uh, 
Um, it's just a short piece. <laughs> and then this is Starbucks. Um, so she's, she's, you know, we're seeing indoor murals, we're seeing outdoor murals, and we're seeing different um, services that she's worked on. Okay, and then we're moving on to, um, uh, it's okay, her name is Car Carly Levy Sarver, Carly Sarver, and she's based in Stanwood, uh, Camino area, and she does murals all over the Pacific Northwest. This is Pizza Wings. This is Volcano. Queens. A full mural. So again, that, that's that kind of ring. So uh, whimsical ocean. Just um, and then, uh, and I will, oh, could you go back? Yeah, uh, I will say that, um, I just pause for a moment. The mural that was done at the American Lake Park, um, they had that it has to come down for construction because they're building an ADA access. And so they're going to be looking for a muralist again who, you know, does water type. And so I was just noting that she had a lot of water images just to, so just so we can be thinking about other pieces. Okay, this is Lauren and and she splits her time living between living in Seattle and Cambodia. Um and she has a Japanese American heritage. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, this is called Hope. in a better way. And so, yeah, that was it. Um, and that was that was all the images that we could find. Um, again, some of these artists do many types of artwork and not just the murals. Uh, but it's not to say she doesn't do more. So this is Jonathan Fisher. He's Japanese American based in Seattle. Um, and much of his art is inspired by the traditional something wood for block prints. I won't put it on uh, This is titled Regeneration. Wave. Um, Rainier River. Okay, so those are the new ones since our last meeting. So Angelina Willow, Post, Carly Server, and Jonathan. All right. And then we're going to go on and we're going to review the five from last time. So we'll just continue on to refresh your memory. Liam Miller and Bethany uh, Frackrill. And these I don't have names for, but you could just maybe, if you're taking notes, make up a name that jots your memory. Uh, do you want to go back this one? I was just looking at the surface that this is the link. Okay. Um, you know what? Can you go back one? I'm just looking at the people because we're talking a lot about representing different cultures and media spaces and how does that work so you don't leave certain groups out. Um, and I'm, so I'm just kind of taking a better notice about this time around. 
Are they uh, are they themselves indigenous people? Yeah. yeah so oh, there are bios at the end of this, yeah. uh, uh, and so yes, and I'll yes. So we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, so she's from the Sinopoli tribe, um, and he's from the culture, and so they're they partner to piece together. Oh, I'd like to see what they show up with. So it's Hi, Patty and Earl. I just wanted to brief you on where we are. I'm sorry, sorry about you waiting to get in. Um, no, that's okay. I was uh, I I got in like maybe about like ten minutes ago, so I saw all of the the new people. Great. I I've seen everything. I've been there. I just think I had the wrong link. I'm not sure. So thank you. Yeah, and sorry, I sorry for being late. I was with my mom. Okay, you got a free pass since you're so consistent. <laughs> I'll tell mother that. <laughs> 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 okay, we will carry on. This is oh, Savannah Jane O'Malley. Um, very, very similar texture to the bathrooms there. Um, you know, this one's so different than the first two. Okay, let's go back so we can see what's which one. Okay, that's the last one of a valley. That's the so this is Daniel Hunter. Okay. And then this is Jorge Mota. Okay. Uh, so he came from Mexico. Like the beauty of okay, and this is Perry Porter, and this is our Lakewood artist, our one and only Lakewood artist.
Yeah, they're, they're two separate. So Noko is the one from Lakewood and he's the last the last in the So and it has to be really used to the uh I mean that that has the bias. Yeah, like we just don't know where it stops. So this is the main. That that I think that's a little bit of that's a little bit. And you know, I did want to mention that I, I was saying that the artists can do what they want, but if we really love a piece and are like that's perfect for the park, I don't know why we can't say please recreate that one. Um so here we are. Do we need to go through it again? Would you like to go through it again? I should say, or do you want to start a dialogue um, about the artists and and who we think are the top three artists? And here, everyone can just really speak up. Oh, can I, oh, can I Go ahead. I was going to say, I'd, I'd just like to weigh in and say, I really want us to, to if we can, um, commission someone who is Lakewood resident or at least a Tacoma resident. I don't know. I just feel like it's important. Um, what do you all think? I mean, I think a lot of, there's a lot of talented people there, but that just, for me, seems like it's an important thing. It, it came up as being important for the utility boxes. So I, if it's not important for this, that is a discussion we should have. So be consistent. I like the variety of others. So I, I think we're, we're honoring like by um, choosing the artists for the remote the artists for the city box. I think for this one, we're down. I think we the broader part. And everyone here, uh, can everyone hear something? No, I couldn't get, I couldn't get that. I I think that we honor Lakewood by choosing Lakewood artists for the signal boxes, but for the mural, which is on a grander scale, I think we need to, to look at the artists and their style. Um, this is on a bigger format. Um, so I, I like the idea that we have a broader um, list of artists to choose from for the mural. Hi, this I, is Patty. I, I so, like the, oh. the I like the choices that um, uh, Sylvie's friends, you know, choice that the the first new artist. I I really liked her style a lot, and then um, the Japanese American um, gentleman. I really liked his his style a lot as well. I think those two are probably my, my favorite two choices right now out of everyone. Hi, this is Patty. Can you, I'm sorry, Earl. I, are you done? <laughs> yes, I'm done. I just said that. To okay. Me. No, I didn't want to talk over you. I felt bad. Um, no, I totally agree with Sylvie and Earl. I think that this, I would love it if it could be someone from Lakewood, but I don't know if we have enough through for it. Agreed. And then, yeah, so if there was more, that would be great. And then uh, I agree on the top two. I think the one you're talking about, Earl, is Angelina, which she yeah. would be my top choice. And then Jonathan, I think that's the second one that you were mm -hmm. speaking of. 
I um, really like uh, their uh, stuff. I, I'd love to add to, add to this. I, I was really trying to do a little more thinking on a, a broader level, which, which is why I, I like the idea of not just limiting ourselves to liquid. Um, I think we have a really amazing opportunity to capitalize on this space that we have um, and take advantage of that. Um, I think in the past we've talked about incorporating some type of interactive art. I think this is a great space to do that. We're in the park. We've, we're able to capture a larger audience. We've got younger people, families coming through sporting events, out of town people coming in for sporting events, um, different camps, things like that. I'm loving that first artist, Angelina. Um, I think she could create some type of artwork that's social media worthy. People are going to want to get in front of it. They're going to want to take mm -hmm. pictures of themselves in front of it. They're going to want to post it on their social medias. We can yes. have Instagram attached to it. They're doing the advertising mm -hmm. for us. I know we have this idea of wanting a particular type of artwork, but this will get this will get people wanting to come to the park potentially just specifically to take a picture in front of that mural we have it's Fort Silicon Park is a huge place for photographers to come and take family portraits things like that if if it was a really cool piece of art people people will want to go and take pictures there too um but I think the the use of the color or the lines the shapes um that Angelina uses I I think this is a great opportunity for us um, and if we don't already have a hashtag for the Arts Commission or any type of social media attached to us, this could be a great opportunity to do that as well. Um, and I know that takes someone to manage our social media, but in thinking about that, we're able to track engagement for our art projects. We're able to take a look at um, like data as far as like the demographics that we're attracting, seeing who's posting the pictures, seeing who's interacting with us. Um, I just threw out a lot there, but that's kind of my thought on all of this. That is so fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I, you're right. <laughs> and it's at a level that people could stand in front of because it's at the bathroom and there's a couple sides of it. I, I think it's fabulous. Yeah. I like where Adriana was going with that. I agree on all accounts on that. Great points, Adriana. Susan, I'd love to hear from you. Um, actually, it's my favorite Girl, she's not my friend. I just found her because I've been following her art. She wants to be your friend. <laughs> she's your friend now, Sylvie. She's your friend now. She will be. Yes. Yeah, I know we're going to tell Syl oh, Sylvie. We'll tell everybody it's because of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you must be Sylvie's friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paige, do you want to weigh in? Um, I, I agree with 100% with what Adriana said. There's so much untapped. Um, marketing uh, that we that we have associated with not just this piece that's about to come but um yeah just as I, I love Lakewood and I love that park and I'm excited about our future so yeah you know I uh, looking forward to supporting it any way I can I you know I'm not real particular about the art itself um I think if we build it you know it, it'll be great I, I love I love all the artists really guys I I I, I it's hard for me you know, it's a taste thing, right? But I agree, if it could be something that people want to take pictures of themselves in front of, that's the best. <laughs> uh, let's see, Daryl. Okay, I again like Sylvie's friend, Angelina Villalobos. <laughs> uh, she had the most uh, pieces to share. I think she had eight, is that correct? And I thought the fish kites uh, was uh, one that was memorable and stood out to me. Um, as far as the other artists, uh, the team of Miller, Frackrell, Hawaiian, and Snoqualmie. Uh, I thought the third piece was 
a strong piece. Um, O'Malley, uh, I found the second piece pretty strong. Uh, obviously, I'm not putting putting titles to these because some of them really didn't have titles. Um, but I was really attracted to Jorge Mata, um, uh, uh, his piece of the uh, salmon. And I, he is more or less a local artist. I think his studio was based, is based in Tacoma. Is that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> and I saw a strong nautical Pacific Northwest connection to his salmon piece. Um, the artist from Stanwood, Carly, um, the pool actually kind of resonated with me. And um, finally, Lauren, I thought had some, some pretty strong pieces. I don't have any objection to what the, what the commission members said as far as social media and all that. I think that's, that's spot on. And uh, Paige, I hear your point about wishing and hoping that we had more of a Lakewood presence, but uh, my gosh, there's just so much variety here. Don't you guys agree that uh, uh, whatever direction we go, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be um, pretty representative of what we're trying to do. So if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be um, um, either the fish kites that uh, Angelina did or uh, Jorge Mata's salmon, just to kind of keep that vibe. But those are just my own opinions. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, um, oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, I was just going to say that I hope that this is the start of many murals that we have throughout the city. So the hope is to use, you know, a number of these, you know, because I love, I really like a couple of them very equally, but I think they all create a really good style and a really cool vibe that we're going for. So if those murals can play off of each other, I think that'd be great. But again, this is the hope is to be the first of many murals throughout the city. Thank you. And um, Emily, did you weigh in on the paper? I can, yeah. 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 Um, so yes, I agree. Angelina was um, one of my top favorites. Uh, I was actually wondering, could, could we take a look at the O'Malley piece that's on the building that was like exactly like what they're looking at? Um, thank you. But that was another one of my favorites. Um, and I thought it was very, um, very illuminating at least one barrier for the artist to get to space that's almost exactly like Yeah, and I liked the piece too. I thought, Kind of what Adriana was talking about. Yeah. Nobody would want to come and stand in front of it as a part and everything. Um, so those are probably two of my top. Um, I really liked Jonathan Fisher as well. Um, Carly Sarver's pool mural, I really liked a lot. Okay. Oh, sorry. And Gary Porter's Rose Garden was up there for me in terms of uh, the use of color. And no, is it Nofo? Yeah. His overtime is very powerful in terms of subject Okay, well, you're making it easy. Um, it sounds like we're definitely everyone's in agreement that the number one is Angelina. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Why do we? Um, I think she was my favorite. Yeah, her, her work is so dynamic. Mm -hmm. I see seniors in front of that. Their senior pictures. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's a good thought. Sorry. And what we've seen of her work, she kind of fits that orientation pretty well of 16 and a half feet wide as the as the most important to mention with uh, most all of her pieces are already, you know, in tune with with that particular size dynamic. So I don't think she would have any problem at all coming up with the coming up with the concept. And Sally, you said earlier that, uh, you know, style is something that we can discussed down the road, um, but um, every one of her pieces is uh, pretty strong, for sure. I agree. And I I think it's nice to kind of have that 
hopeful mental check off of where you know that they can do this. It's not their first time doing a mural. It's not something we're putting a big risk on in that regard. So I think that that in itself is reassuring also. Okay, very good. Um, so, so Angelina's number one. Um, so this, there's a couple ways we can do this. We can just pick her and I can call her and say, you're it, bring her out to the park. Maybe we all meet her out there and uh, say what we liked about her art or the building. And, um, and then we can let her do her thing or, or, you know, I don't know if it's the best practice where she would probably do a sketch is what she would do. Um, and then we do the final approval, right? Get our eyes on it and then just go from there. Um, but if she says no, we should have a backup. I can't hear Sylvie. I'm sorry. Sorry. I said I had um I had reached out to her to get her contact info to see if she was interested in doing our mural. And she said she would love to, and she sent me a nice um, email, which I thought I forwarded, but um, I, she doesn't know what the price is, so I'm I see. Yeah, then I said, well, did you tell her what we're paying? Because <laughs> that could be a deal breaker. But I have an idea, and I just want to throw this out. And Patty, you can weigh in on this. But we have uh, money set aside this year also for interactive art. I wonder if we wanted her to do the whole restroom, all the sides, if we could take some money um, from the interactive art and just pay her more. Um, because realistically, without a staff person just devoted to public art, I don't know how we're going to implement plinths and select a sculptor. Um, you know, this is a full-time job. And um, so, you know, that's something I'm just throwing that out there, a kind of a redirection. Uh, it's all going to public art. Uh, do we want to make a big bang with the first piece? Um, and then I'll also need to see what what it would cost us. So the interactive part, would that be your hashtag? Would that be those kinds of things? What would be the interactive portion to this? No, I'm saying that we have money um, to, to go towards interactive art, which is going to be like our plant sculpture. Oh, got it. And you would just shift that? So if we wanted to do more than one wall, Oh, we, absolutely. Like almost the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's money in the art funds. Yeah. Yeah. No, yes, definitely. I see. I was just unclear. Sorry. Um, yeah. Or you know, we have to recommend that to council or how that works. I, I wouldn't think so, but. That's what I was thinking, but you definitely need to talk to uh, to Bryn about that. Okay, so wonderful. I'll I'll call her and approach her on this. Um, I would like to have a number two. Uh, artist, uh, just as a backup, you never know what can happen. Um, and so the names I heard come up were Jonathan. So why don't we look at Jonathan's pieces again? Even 
I love those mushrooms. I do really like his style a lot. Has it, some of it has a really cool anime type feel. Um, and then uh, Jorge Mota came up. I'm not really in love with his style because it's more like airbrushing. And this is a dialogue. So the more we talk about it, the more we can move on or um so uh, What, what, what was that comment? The last comment that was made? Oh, just that this is a dialogue. So the more, the more you want to share about your thoughts, the better, or your number two choice. No, the, um, was it Sylvie that just made a comment? It's an airbrush style and it reminds her of the seventies of what she's a product. And so it's not a favorite style. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jonathan's definitely my, like, for number two choices, he's my top number two. Yeah. His first piece, I like his first piece. Yeah. The other piece is not so much. If I can just weigh in, I, I don't remember who did it, but I really was a fan of the one that was labeled Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a man who was yeah, one choice. But I really, I, you know, I find them all to be really wonderful in their own ways. And um, I actually have to go, but I, uh, I trust uh, that you guys will do amazing work like you always do. Yeah, I, I just adore that one, <laughs> stylistically, so. So the only thing I have to say is if we only like one of Jonathan's, is that a red flag, Susan? <laughs> Necessarily, I liked all of this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're very, they're all different. Yeah. Yes, I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, well, are we in a place we want to vote uh, Jonathan Fisher as our second choice? I'm good with that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm good with that. How about is anyone not good with that? We only have three pieces to represent. What is what is his social media handle? Um, what's it on there? Let's all do a little research on our phones and see what we can find. Oh wow. Yeah, you have a lot of hair. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the new I can't see what I can see what that's oh are you there? That's fine. Okay, and then Yeah. Um. Thank you. 
This one's hard for me because I'm not like in love with this style. Like that's cool because now I feel like we're trying to just scramble to find a second best just for the sake of having a second best. Well, I don't, I don't think we're doing it for the sake of it. We were saying that we have so many wonderful artists here and we're going to have another mural. And so if Angelina was the number one here, then I would assume Jonathan would be the number one. If she can do it, then he would be the number one for the next mural. Um, but maybe I miss. Or if no, she, that, make, that that makes sense. I misspoke there. Uh, but also, if she says no, we do need a second one. Uh, but no, that's that's not a misspoke. I mean, you're saying that. I don't. Know. We're very much. I like him. Try that one. Can you? Can you? So do you want to see more of his work? Do you want to vote him as the second? Um uh, formal votes on both. Um, oh no, 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 that's fine. Make him as a second choice. All right. So Call a vote for the number one choice um, for the girl at Fort Park um, as in the uh, work. So I have a motion. Yes. Anyone second? I'll second. All right. Motion is passed. All right. And then um, for our number two choice, um, as Jonathan Fisher, do I have a motion? I motion. I motion. I agree on both of them. All right. Motion is back. And then I want to uh, really communicate well that we're giving the artist, I want to confirm this, that we all agree that we're giving the artist free reign mm -hmm. to be creative. Yes. Yes. We want original. But it's are, also you giving them a, are you giving them a theme or any sort of just like words so, or are you just saying go for it when I spoke to the muralist at the art opening the art reception here they said they have actually said no to people the organizations like ours that give them direction mm -hmm. because they, they want artistic freedom um, so my thought was we could meet them out there and tell them about our community, tell them about the park, but not tell them what to say or do. So if they want more information, they don't know the area. Tell them it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I really like the idea of meeting them out there and just having a conversation with them. Should that be our next meeting in July? July. July. Um, and we moved that meeting to the 17th, so it'd be after Summerfest. And would you like to meet her at the park for that meeting? 
I would pick on everything that they want, like for you, Bill. I could be one of the people there to meet with them too. Okay. I mean, I would love everyone to come out, and that would be our meeting out there. Um, and then hopefully, you know, that would give her time. And, and in the meantime, of course, I'll I'll, I'll verify that she's interested and uh, agrees. You know, if the pricing's okay for her. Hey, and Sally. Would you be able to do that as a meeting out there because it has to be recorded? It might have to be a special, I don't know how you would do that. I, I think um, we just have to um, post it and allow the public to come. Got it, okay. We have it posted and allow the public to be there. It's not a problem. And if we don't have to make that our meeting. Um, I could just, you know, schedule a time that's convenient for her and let you all know when it is, or we make it the meeting. It's just, I know you kind of carved that time out on the dates. Let's try to make it the meeting. Okay. We can, it's a potluck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, but you know, I am thinking, boy, it'd be nice for her to get out when the farmer's market's going because she can really see the community. I guess she could come another time as well. But that would give her a complete plan. Let me have, I'll, I'll plan on that and I'll have a dialogue and see if that works for her. If it doesn't, I'll recommend that she comes out on a Tuesday to see the market, see the community, and then um, uh, anyone who could come can come. So does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you all for choosing my friend. <laughs> Your best. Awesome. Sylvie has a good friend. It's been so long. <laughs> okay, I have to take off everybody. So everybody have a good night, okay? Well, probably just thank you. Um, Yeah, we can call call bring this meeting to a close. And, yeah, yeah, okay. I think so. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Well, thank you, everybody. We, we are here. here. Well, thank, thank you, thank you. It was so much fun. Bye. Yes. That'll be the fun one. <laughs> Bye.